Good morning, parents. Welcome to the KG2 graduation. Uh, we're going to start with the children coming down and uh, uh, having their entrance, their moment. KG2A and KG2B, we are ready for you. This is the back to normal school. So I think we should just give an applause to everybody and even to the uh, hard work of, of our nurse and everybody involved in the pandemic. Wellspring welcomes KG2 parents, KG2 teachers, and KG2 students for their hard work and their dedication all this year. We are very proud of your accomplishments. But grade one will be even more exciting. It will be filled with more friendships, more new teachers, and more learning. You will have lots of fun. Congratulations to all of you for your hard work. I would like to just take a minute of time uh, to talk about your early years principal, Ms. Lean. Ms. Lean's been with Wellspring for five years. She's dedicated and has dedicated her past five years to the school's mission and to the education and safety of your children. 
We wish all of you, Lean, your sons and daughters, Tamara and Ziad, safe travels. And we hope to see you again when you come back to Lebanon. Best of luck. So, congratulations, class of 2034. I'll see you over at the CCC campus one day on the big screen in about, what, 10 years? Good. Uh, that's a date right now. We'll meet, okay? Deal? Deal. Okay. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Kitty. I invite Ms. Randa Bashajawad, UIP principal, to say her uh, welcome note. Good morning, everyone. Ms. Kitty Bata, head of school, Ms. Abir Maki, director of operations, and our dear parents. Dear KG2 students, parents, teachers, and West Wing colleagues. Fred Rogers was a pioneering host of a very famous inspirational preschool television series in America called Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. It ran for 33 years, and it was the inspiration of many research studies in the Harvard Graduate School of Education because of what he presented to the American public in relation to preschool education. And he once said, what makes the difference between wishing and realizing our wishes? Lots of things. And it may take months or years for a wish to come true. But it is far more likely to happen when you care so much about a wish that you do what you can, all that you can, to make it happen. In August of 2021, all we could wish for was having our children back on campus for face-to-face -face learning. After almost two years online and witnessing how detrimental that was on many levels, nothing was dearer to us than to see you back here for in-person learning, to have a full year of in-person learning with all of you. We definitely, all of us, your teachers, your parents, Everyone cared so much and cared enough to do all we can to make it happen. But realizing that wish through a persisting pandemic, a grueling economic crisis, and a global and local unrest was not an easy feat. It required Herculean efforts on behalf of the adults, but more so on behalf of these kids, of these children who had to learn three years worth of preschool in just under one. Bearing the masks and the distancing and the quarantines, they braved through term one and emerged in term two blooming and triumphant. And we are definitely, as Ms. Kitty said, very proud of their hard work. Through all the changes, they remain the constant. They were and will always be our driving force as parents and as educators. They remain our inspiration and our motivation. And they make us care so much about them and for them that no wish is too hard to realize. We made it happen together, guys, despite it all. So here we are today for them and about them. Little ones, you are not so little anymore, right? You are big boys and girls now, and you just finished KG2, and you pack a big punch, and you will rock on to grade one. As you are the promotion, you will always be remembered as the promotion that brought back Madhav campus to life after its forced dormancy. You will continue to inspire us, you will continue to motivate us and help make our wishes and your wishes beautiful realities. So, today is your big day and the future is yours to make it and enjoy every moment of it. Congratulations, KG2. We are super proud of you. I promise it's going to be the last speech. But my speech is addressed to you, KG1, KG2 uh, students. Welcome parents, KG2 students, teachers and administrators. 
The year flew by so fast, and we, here we are on your graduation day. It was a very challenging year for all of us, but we made it. We watch you grow day by day, become inquirers, thinkers, communicators, principled, balanced, caring, knowledgeable, risk takers, reflective, reflective and open-minded. It was a great year of learning and hands-on activities. Well done to all of you. KG2 students, what will you remember about your time at KG2? Will you, you, you may have a favorite book or a game to play. Let's start with your friends. Look around you and you will see the great friends you have, who you had great fun with all year. Friends are so important. What will you remember about your teachers? Thanks to them. They did, they, they, uh, did for you, all they did for you. You, they, uh, you learned so much from them and they learned from you too. They gave you all their attention and they helped you every day. I hope you will remember laughing with them, their kindness and their love and care. What proud moments would you remember? We all remember our proud moments. Think how well you did at math, reading, writing, inquiry, Arabic, and of course, play. How you practiced your thinking, research, communication, social and self-management skills. You all have your own amazing talents. Your parents play a big role, a um, big part of your life. They guide you and they help you with your tasks at home, look after you, play with you and read to you. They deserve your thanks too. Today, you get to celebrate your graduation. You worked very hard, you should be proud, very proud of yourselves. You are ready now to move on to grade one, where you will continue to shine. Take on challenges, love learning, be part of the community, laugh and be all you can be. Congratulations to all, keep shining brightly. Thank you. And now, without further ado, the KG2 students would like to sing for you the song Farewell KG2.
KG2A and KG2B. That was amazing. Thank you. All right, KG2. We're going to start with KG2A. They're going to uh, receive their certificates. Are you ready, KG2A? Remember to smile for the camera, okay? All right? All right, listen for your name. Sophia Al Hassan. Zainab Shukur. Alaya Dayef. Diyad Al Jamal.
give it up for KG2. Congratulations, Malik. Amir Al Mukdad.